What's up guys, CC back with another video. Y'all already know. Let's get this declutter going. So what's up friends? Hopefully you guys are doing well. It is time for another declutter and I get so excited about declutters because something about just clearing your space, clearing your mind makes you just feel so good. So if it's your first time watching, make sure you go ahead, click that subscribe button, join the family. Also follow me on Instagram for all of the behind the scenes and TikTok. So I'm super excited about this video. You guys already know the deal. Leave a comment down below in the comment section and let me know how many lip products you think I have. Now, like I always say, don't be trying to count because you ain't going to guess. So just, just guess how unhinged you think I became and got, <laughs> and got all these lip products, okay? I'll wait. Did you guess? Did you, you think you got it? 142 lip products, 142. Now I decided not to touch lip liners today. So today we're strictly gonna talk about lipsticks and lip glosses, no lip liners, no lip balms. So keep that in mind, but 142 products. And we're gonna go through every single one of them. And hopefully we will continue the trend and try to get rid of half. If you guys have missed any of the other declutters or any of the videos in my low buy for 2024 series, make sure you check those out. I will link the playlist and you guys are really missing out if you missed the video. So make sure you check it out. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so I have attempted to put all of these lip products in categories, how successful I was, I don't know, you guys will see more when it comes to the nudes, but we're going to go right in and start with the reds, honey, okay? So let's start with this, I have this, oh, I have this MAC Retro Matte Lipstick in Ruby Woo, I forgot I even had this, you guys, you guys remember how amazing Ruby Woo was? It was the most drying lipstick on the planet, but it was great. Um, I, this is brand new, I'm pretty sure I haven't opened this and I feel like my like my rule has been this whole time if I haven't opened it if I haven't used it why would I do it now because obviously I wasn't thinking about it so I think I'm gonna leave that in the package and we'll send that to a good home um, this Fenty this is the Fenty in HBIC I actually really love this lip product so I want to keep that one this is the what is this the ultimate color sensational matte lipstick by Ma Ooh, by Maybelline um I can get rid of that I don't even remember using that I don't have a review for it nothing because I don't remember something I do remember is that I loved these and I want to keep both of them because I love the red and then this one was like an orangey red and we loved her too so let's keep I'm definitely keeping the lip bar. This is Boss Lady. I actually just got this a few months ago. So we are keeping that one. I'm also going to keep my NARS. Um, what is this? The lip, lip Air Matte Lip Color. This is really nice. The Fenty Heat is a great lip gloss for going over red lips. So we also want to keep that. Oh, this is going to be hard, y'all. Keeping the Rare Beauty. Keeping the MAC. This one is in um, Chili Attic. This one's so pretty. So we're keeping that as well. So let's just look at these last three. The Super Stay Vinyl Ink. I liked these, but I already have some Maybellines that I'm keeping. So I think I can go ahead and get rid of this one here. This is Chili, the actual Chili lipstick. I love this color, but I have the same thing in the liquid version. And so there's no need to keep both, especially when the MAC packaging it's that bullet packaging. You just can't see what you have. And I don't like that. This is the Mac and Whitney Houston collection lipstick. This is kind of a deeper chili maybe. And so I, I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Okay. Let's move on to the deep reds here. Um, this is one of my favorite colors. I'm not going to lie to you. Actually, I know I can get rid of this dose of colors. This one's in black rose. This one's so beautiful, but it's so old. I've just had it for way too long. So I can let that go. I do want to keep my Fenty. I love these Fenty. Um, what are these called? The velvet or yeah, velvet liquid lipsticks. I love these. We love her. This one's in fireproof. I want to 
keep this MAC lipstick. This one is in Make Love to the Camera. It's, look at the color, just so gorgeous, right? I can get rid of this one. This is the Fenty Lipstick and Underdog. I never pull this out. And it's this is also very old, so I'm gonna let that go. This Merit Beauty Lip Oil is actually really pretty. It's in Sangria. I think I wanna keep that one because I like that a lot. I also like this Fenty Cream Lip Gloss. I love my Fenty. You guys are gonna hear Fenty, Fenty, Fenty all throughout this video, but let's keep that one. I have this, what is this, Dior? Lipstick, ooh, she dark. She is dark and beautiful. Oh, but I don't like the way it came off on my hand. Maybe I just need to warm it up. I think I could let that go. I could let that go. This is Urban Decay. I don't know. I don't even know what this is, how it looks. And I feel like if I don't know how it looks, yeah, I could let it go. There it is, I could let it go. Probably have something similar that I'm keeping. Um, the NYX Double XL Lingerie, how do I look? Ooh, she's good and deep. Oh, she's good and deep. I don't like how that came off on my hand though. Huh? I'm gonna keep that for a little bit. Let's keep that. Uh, this one is the Havana Nights by Ofra Cosmetics. This was like definitely a favorite of mine, but I think I can go ahead and let that one go. And then I have this Hourglass. This is the lip stick balm whatever you want to call it in haze this is so pretty and so easy to use on the lips so we love that i'm gonna keep that all right push through let's get it we're gonna go on with these deep berries here um definitely keeping our salt hair this is something that i actually recently just got i showed you guys in a video we love that one these mac what are these called the powder kiss liquid lipsticks these are such a great formula and the colors are just super gorgeous so i want to keep that um let's get rid of this nyx shine loud liquid lipstick i think it's a lipstick and a gloss and all in one i can also get rid of this super well what does this look like because this color is different the color is kind of different. Let's keep that one. I actually really like the formula of these vinyl lipsticks by Maybelline also. So let's keep her. What does this one look like? That's cute too, but I feel like it feels like a color I'm just not going to wear. So I can let that one go. I can also let go of this purple and I can let go of this Sephora Lip Stories in... What is this in, what color is this? Number 33. I'm gonna let go of that one too. Ooh, that's cute though. That's cute. I'm gonna let it go though. All right, next category are these pinky nudes. There's some glosses, there's some lips, liquid lipsticks, all that mixed in here. So I have this e.l.f. lip lacquer. This is open. This is a, actually a really nice lip gloss. These e.l.f. lip lacquers, if you're looking for something super inexpensive, really nice. So I want to keep that. Um, I also want to keep this lifter gloss from Maybelline. These have these little sparkles in it and these glosses are a really good formula. Maybelline does lips really, really well. I will say that. As you can see, I had a lot of these vinyl lip colors. Um, I have these Makeup by Mario lipsticks. I definitely want to keep those because that is pretty new. I can get rid of this Fenty um, Beauty Cream uh i think it's a lip gloss they classify it as this one's in cupcake and i can go ahead and let that one go so this nyx powder puff lippy i like this a lot it's a very pretty color but it has this um what do you call this like this spongy applicator which is super non-hygienic i mean i'm the only one that's using it so it's fine but after a while it just gets gross so i'm gonna get rid of that and then I got these lips. ColourPop was actually nice enough um, like mid last year to send over their entire collection of their lip products. And so I am, I actually really do like these, especially the ultra blotted lips. So they have the matte lips, they have the glossy lips and they have the blotted lips, which is like a, a velvety 
texture almost and the, that is really pretty so i'm gonna keep that but i don't need i need think i need this one let me oh, this nars lippy this is really nice to pair with like a brown lip liner so i do want to keep her i'm also going to keep the fenty this is in riri and then oh i might actually do bad in this category what is this lip bar liquid lipstick what is that oh that's cute though how cute is she oh no she's leaking is she leaking or is something else leaking something leaked on here nothing's wet Nothing's wet, but something had to leak. Is this one just leaking on its own? I don't think it is. Oh yeah, yeah, that's leaking. Okay, so we're gonna let her go. And then I have these two. This is another Maybelline vinyl. It's a pretty color. And then we have this Huda Beauty lipstick these were like velvety texture oh still so soft i'm keeping that one too all right let's get with the next set of nudes um i don't even know what to call this category and what type of nudes to call this category but it's our next set so here's a revlon ultra hd matte lip color i don't think i have any revlon lip colors except for this one but i never reach for this kind of has a peachy undertone ish so I'm gonna go ahead and let her go. Uh, this one is from Rare Beauty. This one's actually really pretty. It's in the shade Courage. Don't they have a blush named Courage too? Oh, that's a that's a really nice nude right there. Let's keep. Makeup by Mario. I told you guys I am keeping these. I actually really, really like these. Now I've been using them a lot more. I didn't quite know what to do with them when I first got them. Like, I just, I don't know. I was confused on the texture and the staying power and all of that, but I'm keeping that. I want to get rid of this Dose of Colors lippies in, Lippy in Nude Mood. Keeping all of my matte. I love these MAC lip colors. Um, this is a brand new one from Makeup Revolution. If I haven't opened it, not going to open it now. Absolutely, absolutely keeping this. This lip color, I've used this so much in the past few weeks. This is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Lip Cream in Muted Mauve. Oh, these are so pretty. That velvet texture of lip product is definitely super popular right now. And this is just so pretty with the right color lip liner. Like, we love her. As I look through here, I'm gonna keep my Patrick Ta gloss. I'm going to keep this um, Anastasia Beverly Hills color in Hudson. This is one of my favorite shades. What is this? This little Makeup by Mario lipstick. Mm, I don't even really like that. I think I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these in here. Oh, sorry, keeping my Fenty. Other than that, I'm getting rid of the rest of these. Let's move on to these guys. These are my more brown nudes. Um, some of my favorite, favorite, favorite colors. So let's see what we have here. This one is, what kind of lipstick is this? I don't even know what this is and what kind of lipstick this is. Like what brand is this? Estee Lauder. I think it is Estee Lauder. This is actually a brick red, not a brown nude, but the fact that I didn't know what it was or anything, I think I can just, I'm going to get rid of it. All right, let's pull some of these out little by little. Um, the Fenty Heat, oh, I just love these little lip glosses, guys. So I want to keep that. I also want to keep this, um, this is the Dose of Colors Velvet Mousse Lip Color. 
in Shyla. This is such a pretty color. We're gonna keep that. Let's get rid of the Revlon. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the ColourPop. I actually think my girls have a little makeup drawer in my, my room. I actually think I'm gonna give them several of these and so they can keep them and kind of play in the makeup. But I'm gonna take them out of my personal collection. I'm also gonna take these Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks out of my personal collection. These are just super old, very, very, very nice formula, but this one is like dried out, old. We just, we don't need it. On to the next batch. Um, I'm probably not gonna use this Jaclyn liquid lipstick. I, I, I can't even tell you the last time I used that. So I'm gonna let that go. I do love this Dose of Colors in Cork. This is such a gorgeous like brown shade. Oh, it's just so pretty. Let's keep it for now. I also love this color by Too Faced. This is Gingerbread Girl. This is one of the prettiest like brick red. It's like a, I don't know what you'd call it. It's not red, it's like a brick colored brown. I don't know, but it's super gorgeous. We love her. Um, Huda Beauty lipsticks. These are just so pretty. Oh, they're just so pretty and the texture is so velvety. We'll keep that one. I might be able to get rid of this one. One of those NARS liquid lipsticks. Oh, she cute too though. She real cute. Why well, we don't wear that? Keep, uh, get rid of. This is like a copper. I can get rid of this one. All right, these are the last of them. What we got? These Anastasias I just bought. So I'm keeping those. I'm also, this is probably one of my favorite lip colors ever. This is Bittersweet by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I have been in love with this shade for years. I probably need to rebuy it, but the color is just so pretty. I probably need to rebuy a fresh one, but for now, I'm gonna keep that. I am going to let go of the Maybelline. I'm going to let go of this Anastasia. This one is an Ashton. This is another really pretty Anastasia color. If you don't know about those Anastasia liquid lipsticks, you have been missing out because they do liquid lipsticks very, very well. I'm gonna let the color pop go, even though this is my favorite formula. I'm gonna let the color pop go and I'm gonna keep the Rare Beauty lip. Oh, this is a MAC lip color in Mocha. We ain't even open this, so why, we, let's not, let's not even pretend. And then I have this tiny one in Bronx. What does this look like? Yeah, I ain't never even used that. Let's let her go too. Let's move into the browns. I'm so excited about the browns. Browns are like my favorite shade. Um, definitely keeping my Saltaire. Oh, this brown lip gloss is so pretty. This is the lip gloss in Cork by Dose of Colors. So we'll keep her. And I also wanna keep the Velvet Mousse shade in Cork. So I'm gonna keep those three. What I do wanna do though, hold on, let's pull out. I just dropped one of the Fenty's, um, but I'm gonna keep this one as well. And I'm keeping that one that I dropped. But what I do wanna do is do a little comparison because I have four of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. So let's do a comparison and just look at the colors and see. I feel like I w like wouldn't wear a color like that. I don't know. Ooh, I love this formula too, by the way. Like I said, Maybelline does lips very well. That came off on my hand patchy, so I feel like that would come off on my lips patchy. So I'm gonna let this one go off top. This one's in protector. We can let her go off top. And then this fourth one. Oh, I feel like I wouldn't wear that. It's kind of like orangey-ish. Like I feel like the only one I would really wear would be this one. Like these other colors don't seem like they're for me. So let's keep this one and we can declutter the others. All right, what else we got? This LYS lip gloss, this is so pretty. And I wanna keep it. 
It came with this LYS lipstick, which is in like this brown shade, which is super pretty, but I just feel like in this type of packaging, I'm not gonna wear it, cause I'm gonna be like, oh, what is that? I don't know what that is, and just not wear it. Like I love how slim it is and how cute it is, and I love the color even, but I just feel like I'm not gonna wear it cause I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna declutter that. I will be keeping my Pat McGrath and my Bobbi Brown lip glosses. Oh, this is such a pretty lip gloss as well. This is the Sephora brand lip gloss in, what shade is this? This is in Coffee Date. So cute. So we're gonna keep that. What is this? This is an e.l.f. That color is ugly. Ew, why did I buy that? That is disgusting. Oh, this is like one of my favorites. This is the Hourglass. Um, it's like a lip balm slash lip gloss and this one is in trace so pretty I think I was watching an Andrea Renee video and she talked about this and of course I ran out and bought it and I mean I've been hooked on it ever since what is this refi some ooh, something or another was it a lip liner I don't even think it's supposed to be in here child that's a lip liner wasn't something at the bottom now I think something was that it was oh this was a lip liner plus like a gloss wasn't it a gloss lip sculpt is what it's called because that ain't no gloss I don't exactly know what this is supposed to do but let's keep it and try to use it all right getting into the last few categories this one only has two lipsticks in it because there are those off color lipsticks I'm gonna keep this black lipstick because this comes in handy around Halloween time and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep the black one, but I'm gonna let go of the navy blue. All right, let's get into this one. I'm going to just pull some out here. Like I mentioned, these e.l.f. lip lacquers, these are some of the best lip glosses you will find out there. I swear it is. I don't know if I love that color though. I'm gonna let that one go because I don't know if I love that color. Um, this is, oh, this lip glow oil. This was supposed to be a dupe for the Dior lip glow oils. I've never tried the Dior, so I don't know how dupey it is, but I do know I've used this a few times and I have actually really enjoyed the formula of it. Now, I don't use it enough to keep it in my opinion, so I'm gonna get rid of it, but um, this was from Amazon and I did, I did like the formula. I just have other things that I use much more. I will be keeping this Pat McGrath gloss, this Hourglass gloss. I do wanna keep this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip because that is pretty. And then I'm gonna keep both of these Ultra Glossy Lips from ColourPop. All right, what else we have? We have a few of these Fenty Cream. I have actually three of the Fenty Cream glosses and I feel like I can get rid of the pinky one, but I do want to keep the two brown colors, just depending on what color brown I'm wearing, like what color brown liquid lipstick I'm wearing. Um, the Hourglass Gloss, we love. This is an e.l.f. lip oil that I actually recently got, so I'm going to keep that as well. Keeping the Pat McGrath Gloss. I'm keeping the Pat McGrath Gloss, and I am going to keep this Maybelline lip uh, lifter gloss and I'm gonna get rid of this dose of color and this Maybelline okay last but not least let's get into the lip glosses you guys there are a lot in here and I tried to separate these these are more clear ish lip glosses I probably didn't do the greatest job of separating them but I tried to separate them so there you go so Let's see what we have here. This NYX Crystal Clear Lip Gloss, I actually really love this. I also love this Marc Jacobs Clear Lip Gloss, so I will keep those. Oh, this is a really pretty Makeup by Mario. Oh, so gorgeous. And then I have this, oh gosh, this gloss from e.l.f. 
this clear gloss from Fenty. I'm gonna put all the clear glosses together and see how many I have and if I wanna declutter any at the end. Um, I can get rid of these two though. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil. This, this is actually really beautiful. I just have things that I wear more. And then this NYX Lip Gloss. I actually got this from a booth when I was at Afrotech and I just never tried it, so I'm gonna let those go. I knew we were gonna have a ton of clear lip glosses. Look at all of these. I'm just gonna set them aside and then we'll talk about them at the end because I knew I was gonna have a ton, but what I have left, I actually recently just got this. So I'm keeping that. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Gloss in Fuchsia Flex, so pretty. These Lawless Lip Plumpers, I never find myself reaching for them, so I'm gonna let them go. Okay, more clear. Letting the Lawless go once again. Um, I love my Hourglass and my Makeup by Mario lip glosses, so I wanna keep those. Another clear. We're keeping the Saltaire, and then I have these two minis from Fenty. I can let this little peach one go, but I wanna keep this gold, um, this gold like glittery one. Yeah, I'm trying to get that refi lip pencil off, and it is not coming off. Like, I have been scrubbing, and it is really hard to come off. I'm gonna have to, like, why have I not been using that? I don't know, but I have been freaking scrubbing over here. All right, last but not least, Let's talk about all of our clear lip glosses. I don't even know how we got this bad that we have all of these clear lip glosses, but let's talk about them. Um, they're all just crystal clear lip glosses. I can tell you, Lip Sense is like an independent brand. This is actually a really good lip gloss. I just never find myself using these. Um, so I can go ahead and get rid of them. They're also super old. So I think I can go ahead and part with those. Um, my MAC lip glass, I love. I've just gotten back into this, so I'm keeping that. Y'all might be keeping all of these. What is this? Okay, this I don't even know what it is. It just says Dewdrop at the bottom, but I don't even know what brand it is. So I'm, I can let that go then. I can reasonably say I can let that go. This Marc Jacobs one, I do love, but it is super old. Like, I am, I mean super old. So, I'll give you that one. It's Makeup Revolution Lip Oil. I don't need that. And then the rest of these, I think, are fair game. Tower 28, NYX, Fenty, 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 House Labs, and then our lip glass. These are all of the lip products that we are getting rid of. 61 lip products. So we didn't quite get to half here. 142 minus 61 leaves us with, if my math is right, 81 lip lippies still left, which is quite a lot. However, this is a good amount to part ways with, so I'm happy with what we did here. We're getting rid of, you guys can't even see it, we're getting rid of Fenty, Revlon, Revolution, um, Lip Sense, whatever brand this is that we did not know, uh, Dose of Colors, Maybelline, Maybelline, Elf, Maybelline, LYS, Maybelline, Lip Sense, um, Makeup Revolution, Fenty, ColourPop, Anastasia, NARS, Maybelline, Jacqueline, Kosas, Revlon, NYX, Marc Jacobs, MAC, MAC, Dior, ColourPop, Fenty, L'Oreal, ColourPop, Maybelline, Dose of Colors, Maybelline, Lawless, Makeup by Mario, MAC, Maybelline, Makeup, for, Makeup Revolution, ColourPop, ELF, NYX, Urban Decay, Ofra, an Amazon lip oil, another Maybelline, Sephora, NYX, Dose of Colors, MAC, Lawless, NYX, ColourPop, MAC, NYX, Estee Lauder, Smashbox, and Fenty. 61 lip products out of the collection 
and either going to the trash or a better home to family and friends. So that is all for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We are making some really, really good progress here for our declutters. So I'm really excited just to get my house, I feel like in my stuff, to a manageable place and these declutters help. And the biggest thing about these declutters is that we don't plan on adding back to the clutter this year. So in previous years, I would declutter and then I would add back to the clutter. I don't plan on doing that again. So um, I feel like, I, I just feel good about what I'm doing and feel like I'm in a good place. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Let me know, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.